I think when they introduced uh, the character of Borokan to me, um, I kind of I looked him up. I said, okay, I wonder if this is a real guy. And it actually, it was. There's reference to him in, in a lot of the history of the uh, the Roran, the, the Mongolian uh, hordes and stuff, and the tribes. And I thought, well, how fantastic if you take it into a realistic approach that, you know, a historical figure. So I took it in, in, in that landscape and, uh, and I thought, well, it would be fantastic if I get it. Borokan is, is a bit of a vigilante freedom fighter who is um, trying to regain his, his culture and, and his land back and also avenge um, his father's death. So there's a lot of um, um, effort for him to get the tribal elders uh, from the other tribes together so that they can unify. The tone of this movie is really, I think, the, uh, the courage and the compassion that the Mulan character has and that she's, she makes a decision which sets her out on this um, adventure that, that could end up poorly or could end up you know, heroically, and it depends. But I think that the drama lies in, in her encounters and her stumbles and things with, with that. And um, I think the end, um, it's, it's very uplifting. And um, uh, I think it's, it's, she becomes sort of this aspiration and uh, I think that that's a, a good place to um, finish, you know, with, with, with an odyssey like that.